In this chapter, we'll be talking about the different types of seizures. There's two real broad categories of seizures. Focal seizures, also known as partial seizures, and generalized seizures. And then there's a third type, of a partial seizure with secondary generalization we'll talk about a little bit. That combines the two types of seizures together. Partial or focal seizures can be divided into different categories further. There can be a simple focal or partial seizure and a complex uh, partial seizure. The seizures themselves are the result of abnormal discharges in the brain. For a focal seizure, the discharge is localized to one particular part of the brain. For example, if you say you had abnormal discharges in your right frontal lobe, the sort of seizure that you would have would depend on what part of the body that that part of the brain controlled. If it were in this area, you might have something like unusual, say, left-sided arm or face movements. If you had abnormal discharges localized into a focal area, again, we're talking about focal seizures, uh, in the occipital region, you might have some visual changes. And then if the temporal lobes were involved, and it's blue in this brain model, I suspect because this is a very common area to have abnormal electrical discharges, especially in, in, in adults, you might have something like altered consciousness, uh, some unusual sort of uh, sensations. Those are simple focal seizures. Now another sort of partial seizure or focal seizure are complex partial seizures. These seizures, by definition, involve an alteration of consciousness. So again, you can have abnormal discharges in a certain part of the brain, but with the altered consciousness, the temporal lobes are often involved or a larger portion of the brain to cause impaired consciousness. So within focal seizures, there's two types. There's simple focal seizures, which might have just motor signs if it's involving the motor part of the brain, just sensory signs if it's involving the part of the brain that controls sensation, maybe just some visual changes, or maybe just unusual feelings. And then complex partial seizures imply that there's some sort of alteration in consciousness. It doesn't have to be complete loss of consciousness uh, associated with the focal discharges. Now, focal seizures tend to last more than a minute, somewhere between one minute and three minutes, can be shorter or longer. Complex partial seizures often have what we call a postictal state or changes in your mental status, uh, maybe being sleepy or confused after the seizure. And they often have the auras preceding them. If you remember from the definitions, unusual feelings of a seizure coming on. Again, that's the abnormal discharges that are starting that may produce some sort of symptoms, unusual sensation. Some people describe as a sense of impending doom. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to, to be bad. Unusual feeling or sensations that come on before the seizure. And then the automatism, which may happen during a complex partial seizure. Unusual movements, um, lip smacking, um, um, finger uh, twirling, unusual hand movements. Uh, sometimes a continuation of what happened before the seizure. Now I alluded to the fact that sometimes these focal discharges that start off in one part of the brain may spread to involve the entire outer part of the brain. We call that having a focal seizure with secondary generalization. Now seizures are involving the outer part of the brain called the cortex. And so sometimes you can have focal discharges, starts off as a focal seizure, and then involve the rest of the brain, secondary generalization. So the typical story I get with that is where people will have the unusual sensations, will have a, either a simple or complex partial seizure, and then every once in a while they'll fall to the ground and shake all over. That means the normally localized discharges in one part of the brain has spread to involve a larger part of the brain. Focal seizures with, second, with secondary generalization, like complex partial seizures, uh, duration usually somewhere between one and three minutes, although it can be longer and can, can be shorter. Uh, and then there's postictal or the after effect sort of changes, sleepiness, uh, confusion. Um, some people will have um, uh, vomiting, a headache after uh, seizures are very common also. The second real broad category of seizures, remember there's focal seizures, also known as partial seizures. The second real broad category of seizures are generalized seizures. This is where the abnormal electrical discharges affect the whole outer part of the brain all at the same time. Uh, this is the, um, the, the, what I will say, the very sudden onset of a, a, a generalized seizure happens. 
Where it originates from is not real well understood. Probably has something to do with the connection between the top part of the, the brainstem, the thalamus, and, 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 and its uh, uh, relationship to the cortex to cause abnormal discharges covering the whole outer part of the brain all at the same time. Now, what everyone knows about seizures from the media are generalized convulsive seizures, the fall to the ground, shake all over sort of seizures, and those are generalized seizures, the, the, the clonic part describing the twitches and the tonic part describing the extension, the tonic-clonic part being the convulsive sort of seizure. But you can also have very short generalized seizures known as myoclonic seizures, which might look like short jerks, uh, can even be part of something like drop attacks where you get a short, quick jerk and fall to the ground. That's a sort of generalized seizure or an atonic seizure, and that's um, if it's not preceded by the myoclonic jerk, it can just be the drop attack without the jerk beforehand. And then a sort of staring spell seizure called absence seizures. In the next section, I'm gonna spend a little more time talking about absence seizures and complex partial seizures. These are the two sort of staring spell seizures.